welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium that will be taking your calls, answering your questions, helping you connect with loved ones on the other side. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call in number is 845-277-9131. If you're live with me on YouTube, that's where I record all of my shows, um, <clears throat> you can post a question in the chat. I'll be going back and forth between questions in the chat and questions from the callers. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all righty. Um, please don't get scammed. I was going live on Facebook, but had to take the live off of Facebook because of the number of scammers. So listen, people are, first of all, seriously, they, they have no boundaries, no ethics. They will just go up under your thing and, you know, people like that you don't want to work with in the first place. Um, so here's what I'm going to say, please, I will never reach out to you. As a matter of fact, anybody reaching out to you telling you, Oh, my gosh, it's, it, that's a scam. Don't, please don't get scammed by anyone. Um, so uh, that if you do want a private session with me, um, you Go to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O, uh, take care of it there, and then give me a call on the number there, not this number for the show, but the number there, and we will get that session booked. But please don't get scammed, because what these people do is they tell you there's something, oh, I see a lot of negativity around you, I see this, I see that, and then they start sucking you in, and before you know it, you're, you know, they're... You're just giving them money after money. Don't please be very careful with the, some of these people out here. Okay, I've said that, done with that. We are going to move on. I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. Hey, Patrick, Rebecca, Amy, um, Heather, Sal is here, Genevieve is here. Um, <laughs> I think that Fawn is here. I know Fawn's here. Um, so yes, and this person, I'm, I'm A2715. I'm just going to call you A from now on. Okay, love? Okay. So we're going to get started um, it, the same way we always do. I'm supposed to channel a little bit today. Um, so... Um, I'm asking them right now, should I start with the channeling, the songs, or the names? And they're saying channeling, but I always get so nervous when I channel, you guys. Hey, Amy. Um, okay, so I'm just going to start with the channeling. And I know I have to be very careful, and they know I have to be very careful of the verbiage. I know, the, I know what the message that's coming through today is. I'm just really nervous about it because it is a very, um, it'll come through perfect. Okay, so we're going to start the channeling. So it is imperative right now that we stay in a place of love and light. We cannot allow all of the noise from the outside to come in and affect us. We must stay in that space where we know and we feel that everything is okay. Do not let the distractions of this one against that one, here against there, bring your frequency or your vibration lower. It is good to be aware of what's going on around you. It is not good to be invested if the investment brings you down. Think of yourself as a stock. If you 
are a stock, you only want your stock to go up. If you are a stock that is allowing other things to bring you down, you must remove the emotional connection to that and allow yourself to only move up because you are priceless and you are valuable. And as each and every one of us move up, our energy, our frequency, our vibration move up, all of the outside noise, all of the things they are using to distract and separate and cause chaos will fade away. It will no longer be effective upon the collective of people. You must remember the power lays within. The power has always been within. The power is the ability to know, to connect, and to raise the frequency. Anything that you listen to and or see, anything that you watch, you hear, that makes you have that feeling that is sad is unnecessary. You must remove those things from you and your purview. It is imperative that you keep yourself clean of these things at this time. As a collective, if the frequency or the vibration drops to a certain point, it will change the dynamic. We must stay out of the drama. We must stay out of the emotion, the negative, sad emotions of other things that we personally have no control of. Most of the things that you are seeing are distractions, like a magician, Look here, so we can do this over here. Oh, fight about this, so we can stay in power here. Oh, we're going to take all of this, or we're going to do that, so stay in line. They do not have the power. Only the power is within you. The power is yours, and that power, and they know it, is the divine connection from here to there. The divine, the beautiful, the brilliant connection that goes up. The more lower emotions, negativity, sadness, drama that is filled within your mm, um, energy, the more difficult it is to keep that connection so beautiful and strong and to harness all of your power. When you are in a place that is happy, think about this. When you are in a place that is very happy and oh, so delicious, so good, so yummy, you feel bright. You feel strong. You feel good. But when the, uh, the, the, uh, the things come in and that makes you to feel heavy, right? Oh, the back starts to do this and we need to get back to this. We need to be straight and upward like a, a good antenna, like a very good antenna. Do not let external, outside influences or noise affect internal emotions and feelings and connections. Let's go back to the antenna. Your whole being is an antenna. Now, this antenna can pick up on the level 
it is. So if you're in a sad place, the antenna unfortunately will reach and get sad things and be staticky in that area. If it's angry, you'll have other angry anger things come in. If you start to like shake it off, like a dog will shake it off, just shake it all off. If you start to just shake it off, if you say that is, there's nothing I can do about that. That is not my problem. There is nothing I can do about that. That is outside of, I'm going to give that to the powers that be. I'm going to give that upstairs. I'm going to give that to God. And when you start to do that and you have this new feeling come into you, this feeling of love, this feeling of light, this feeling of, of joy, then your antenna will be so strong and divinely connected. Now that divine connection never goes away. No matter what, it never goes away. But where you think, where you focus, and more importantly, how you think and focus and how you feel when you do that, how you feel when you tap in, will tap it all back into you. And notice the double uh, one and two, like the DNA strands, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So you keep yourself in a place where you feel magnificent and strong and you don't let the outside um, propaganda affect you. You stay strong, you stay powerful, you stay connected, you stay in your knowing. And as you do that, and as we all do that, we see a change. We see that this place can be the place we are all striving to be at or to go to. So many people say, oh, we're going to go to the fifth or the sixth or the seventh dimension. First of all, you don't even know what dimension you are on half of the time. And you came here to be here and to change this. Don't jump out because it's not going the way you want it to. Practice making this the heaven on earth. Practice with your own personal frequency and your own personal energy to change the energy of your environment. Start in your home. Start with plants. Start with love. Start with all the forgiveness to yourself. Nine times out of ten, we are not upset with other people. We are upset with the decision that put us in the place with the other people. Start with taking out the drama. Start with accepting. <sighs> Start with loving yourself. And in that, all the flowers will bloom. Okay, that's the channeling for today. <laughs> I think they did that very eloquently. I'm going to tell you something. They said, and if you know, if you know me and you know them and you know how they talk, then you read through the lines to get to the place. Um, my eyes were actually tearing during that. Ah, I love that. Oh. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to questions on, on, the, on the people who have called in. I'm going to go back and forth between the questions in the YouTube chat and the people who have called in. So I want to say a couple more people have come in. Uh, uh, we have Lynn here, Joy. Hey, Joy. Hey, Stephanie. I'm going to try to get to everybody today. You guys, if it takes me a moment to get back and forth, please be patient with me. I'm going to do the best I can to do the best I can to answer everybody's question. 
the first person calling in. When you, when I say your area code, please give me your name, your first name, where you're calling from. I only want your first name, and then an exact question about life, love, career, finances, or the name of a loved one on the other side and their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom. Hey, mom or um, whatever, and then any question you have for them if you have a question for your loved one. Here we go, 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Brian and I'm calling from Chicago. Hey Brian, and have, yes. My question, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay, good, good afternoon. Uh, my question for this, if you can connect uh, to someone on the other side if possible. Yeah, first name and relationship. Her name is Josephine, and she is my paternal auntie. Okay. She's the one that comes through, isn't she? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you, there's a woman here who is a little bit fuller, like, um, you know, how they say, I'm sorry if this is offensive. Um, I think it's meant as a compliment, thicker than a snicker, like, she was she had a good body but she wasn't a skinny mini okay first that's the way i'm gonna say that but next to her there is another woman who was older when she passed and was very thin at the end not through her whole life but at the end she had lost um she had lost like a lot of her muscle oh, and i yeah i do is that i'm sorry what did you say love it's my grandmother, her, her, uh, her mom. That's my grandmother. Yeah, I and I was. I'm. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for confirming that. And then behind them is a man who was taller than your auntie, and kind of like a big build. And who would he be, love? My grandfather. Okay, good. Okay, so we have the Trinity here the power three that come through for you. And the first thing that they, first I'm gonna ask you, do you have a specific question for them or something that you want to know from them today? Yes, I do. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be having my third child and I want to name it after my auntie that we referencing, but I've been struggling with it because I, I lived with her when I was eight years old until I graduated from high school and went to college. There were good times and there were bad times. Um, and I've been struggling to come to grips with, uh, you know, letting go of the hurt. But I know that she loved me. Oh, my gosh. She adored you. And I'm going to, I have goosebumps. First of all, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. We are going to do some, some clearings here. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to let go of the past. Now, um, People say, how do you just let go? Well, you know, they say, give it to God. This is how we do it. Angels come in and they start taking what you no longer need and what you're willing to let go of. So we're going to start with clearing um, where you let go of the past. I get a no. All the reasons we've held on to this and kept it have healed, cleared, and released. And sometimes we hold on to things from the past because we think by holding on to it, it reminds us and we won't go through it again. But it's not quite true because like they, the, they were channeling in the beginning, anything in our energy, if we have this one hurt, it's, it's um, pulling in like a magnet, a repeat of that hurt, not because of any other reason but to show us to heal it so all the hurt and you guys please um come back and re-listen to this because not everything can be pulled in the first one okay sometimes we have to listen and layers go all hurt has been healed cleared released we're going to take that now okay your auntie you know she did what she knew and she did the best she could and she was overwhelmed most of the time. That is what she is saying. She was very overwhelmed most of the time. She wants you to know that she wishes, and she didn't, okay, she she said, she, she kind of goes, she's kind of saying, shoo, most of the time I was just winging it. 
I didn't know from minute to minute with a lot of things, whether it be finances or food or whatever it was, there were a lot of stressors she never really announced, but she was just really overwhelmed. Um, everything that you went through that was hurtful and painful helped you to be in a place where you would never do that to someone else. And that's the blessing because sometimes people get hurt and they turn around and they, they repeat it. But you're, she's calling you the, like she's saying, you're the golden child. You're the one who can turn it all around and make it a new generational situation. I hate to use the word situation, but you know how we have generation after generation after generation, let's just say of poverty or of abuse or of whatever you want to say. You're the one who can turn some of those generational cycles, cycles and behaviors around. So with you, the next gen you're you're a generation that's that went through this but now it's better and then the next and then the next and it will get better and better and better as long as you stand true to it does that make sense brian everything you said makes sense thank you so much you are so welcome and they they want to confirm you know that they first of all they want to say they love you but second a lot of reasons that your auntie was the way she was it are and this is why you know the grandpa and the grandmother are probably with her because of you know we're all raised it, we're all surviving our past is the way i love to say it we're all either healing from surviving from working through our past and you have done an amazing job keep going and don't don't let anything get in your way okay okay thank you so much you're so welcome and congratulations on your third child thank you you are welcome you are welcome okay you guys i'm gonna go to the first question in the chat hey um I think your name is Almi, Almin. I'm sorry, I can't, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. I'm going to go up. Um, hey, uh, let me rise. How are you? I'm going to try to go up to the first question on the chat. So please be patient with me while I try to find it. I think it's under Patrick. Um, yeah. Here, I think this is the first question. Okay, hi, Tony. My sister Bing will have a trip to China ooh, to take care of my dad's apartment. Will our neighbor who currently taking care of it give her trouble for taking back the apartment? Yeah, a little bit, Julie, a little bit. Um, they obviously don't want to give it up. And I think that they're trying to find a way to, um, I see just paperwork. So she's going to have to have all, all the paperwork and she's going to have to be very strong. Um, I feel like he will cave um, eventually. I, I feel like there's going to be a little bit of back and forth, but he will cave and will be um subdue subdued or subdue um he's okay so what i get julie is he's going to try to do this but he doesn't want the authorities involved because if he has paperwork it's very fraudulent and he knows that and it will be found out like that but i don't think it's going to go that far i think if she says well you know we don't want to have authorities because it's a whole different system there, as you know. And the the message that I'm getting is they don't play. They don't play. So um, what I'm going to say to you is to um, uh, tell her to, to, to stand her ground, have her paperwork, 
and it should go smoother, okay? I hope that's very helpful for you. I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 347. 347, what's your name and where are you calling from? Well, 347 is listening to something else at the same time. So I'm going to go to the next person here who is, um, let's do this. Um, wondering if the person that you mentioned was going to, I was going to meet in June is someone I already know. Thank you, Lynn. Is the person coming into Lynn's life somebody she already knows? No, Lynn. This is somebody brand new. Um, and I, you know what, you guys? Here's what I'm going to say. Um, we have a full moon um, lunar eclipse in Libra. I believe it's tonight. For most of us, it's tonight. And this full moon lunar eclipse if relationships are not working out whatever it's a, it's a it's a letting go is my understanding i'm not an astrologer but everything i've heard and it's affecting certain signs more than other signs so please you know take this with a grain of salt what i will tell you is there are people lynn in your life that are going to some of them are going to like cut right out do not be offended or upset or hurt by that and then others are going to slowly like over the next um six weeks or six months slowly just you know become separate because you're about to go into a whole new group of people with this person coming into your life that is it's going to be very amazing <clears throat> so and and not that you're going to let go of not all of the people in your life are going to go, but some of them are. And But when people go out of our life, they're people that maybe were not good to us. Um, maybe they were talking negatively about us behind our back. You know what? I'm going to say something here. Your spirit team, and I, I don't have a better word for it than that, but your spirit team, meaning your, your, your teachers, your guides, your protectors, they don't play, okay? They really don't play. They will take, they'll give people a chance that are not treating you well to correct their bad behavior, but at some point, they will just take them out of your life. And you won't even know why they've been taken out of your life. You won't know what went wrong, why it happened. But you also will have a sense of peace once these people are out of your life. Um, even if it hurts, there's still like this sense of peace like, ah, oh, because the, that person is no longer sending negative energy via their words and or thoughts or their bad talking about you any longer. So just know that. Um, I will also say this to you. Uh, the person coming in is brand new and they're coming in sooner than you think. And it might be a little bit sooner than you are ready for. Um, so that is what I would say for you. You know what I just realized at the beginning of the show, I did not do names and I did not do songs because I was channeling and went right into callers. So at some point in the show, I am going to do names and songs. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845-277-9131. You can ask questions, you can connect to a loved one on the other side. When I give the your area code, please give me your name, where you're calling from, and have an exact question ready for me, please. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 262. 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, this is Amy from Milwaukee. Hey, Amy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Amy, how can I help you today? 
Um, I'm not sure. Um, I think I had a bad nightmare the other night and it was like so real and it's past stuff that should be literally like 12, 13 years old and should be done. Um, but it was super current and real. And the difference was that when I woke up, I wasn't as emotionally oriented to it as before. And I guess I'm just wondering if I'm almost done with that stuff um, or if there's something I can do to push it through faster. Okay. So the number one thing that I'm hearing is perspective. So, and I'm going to okay. try to say this the best way I can, Amy. Um, sometimes when something happens, we look at it with one perspective. Now that perspective is not incorrect or wrong. However, um, <clears throat> that perspective might be outdated because as we mature and grow and learn more, we can take on a new perspective. Like I'm just going to give you a, an example that is not related to what you went through 12 years ago. Sometimes you break up with a person, maybe, um, they cheated on you. Let's just say that because that's such an easy one. <clears throat> and you break up with this person and you walk away thinking this person is such a bad person. <clears throat> they played the villain in the story because they cheated. Excuse my froggy throat, everybody. Um, <clears throat> however, as you mature and as you grow and as you learn, Somebody else comes into your life who's a hundred times better. And the reason that person was out of your life is they weren't supposed to go any further. And they, maybe that was the only way they would be out of your life. Now, I believe in contracts. Like we have contracts with people that last a certain amount of time. We learn a certain amount from them or agreements, however you want to say it. And if you overstay a contract with somebody or an agreement with someone, I always get the statement by choice or by force. So either you can leave this person by choice when things start to get rocky or by force. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you don't leave by choice, the universe will again step in, remove that person in whatever way they can so that you can get back on your path and move forward. So a lot of things that happen, we can go back and have a different perspective about it. Like, oh, I can see if I wasn't personally involved in this situation and I, now I can see everything around it, I have a new perspective. That was a really long answer for that, Amy. I hope that helped you a great deal. I hope it makes sense to you. But let's do another clearing. Let's do another healing. Um, the... Uh, my past hauntings have healed. I get a no. Let's heal. Oh, heal, clear, release that. <laughs> Whew, I hope that, that you guys, if you feel this, let me know. Um, wow, that is that is intense. Okay, thank you, Amy. Does this help you, Amy? Yeah, I think it does because I did feel a different perspective and it was some of the details were comical. I, it was not a comical situation, but it the, some of the details became comical. And so I can see that perspective was what is happening because yeah. it, it, it just wasn't really a big deal. I love that. And another, I just kind of get tired of it. <laughs> yeah. But so. you know what? Another thing, another way, another perspective, and I love this perspective, what was what what could have taken us under, right? What could have taken us under made us better, made us stronger. Right. And now we can turn around and we can look at it and we can laugh at it. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, love. Right. Yes. Thank you. You're so welcome, Amy. Thank you so much for calling in. I uh, thank you for sharing also. Um, if you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to the next question. Uh, 
I'm going to go to this question. Um, I hope I didn't ask, ask if you have time. I do, Joy. Um, is there something I can do to clear me of others' energies? A relative called me and she's miserable. <laughs> I feel she tried to transfer her misery on to me and was wishing bad on me. Thank you. Okay, Joy, this is, you know, the whole channeling in the beginning. I, go back and listen to that again. And here's what I'm going to add to that. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to say, let's not call it an intentional transfer but when we're really happy and somebody's really sad, there that makes them even more miserable. Let's just use your word. So what we're going to do, Joy, is um, I'm just going to do for you, everybody, listen. And all the clearings I do are for anybody listening and or watching. If it's in alignment with them, it will happen. Um, all foreign energies have cleared. Let's clear that. Negative. Let's clear that. Okay. From now on, um, if somebody calls or, you know, you have to be around people with specific energies, um, they always say put yourself in white light. What I say is put them in white light um, to help dissolve some of their unhappiness and what they've gone through. So even every night as you go to bed, if you know people who are just so, you know, life has gotten the best of them, surround them in pure white light and love. Um, because that will start to hopefully dissolve some of that old energy they've been holding on to. So, yeah. That's what I can say for you, love. I hope that's helpful, but this clearing will definitely help. And you know what? You don't have to talk to people and you don't have to stay on the phone with them. Sometimes you can pick up the phone and say, hey, I have five minutes. Is everything okay? Excellent. Well, I really love you, but I do have to go. If they start to say, talk about negative things and they're not open to optimistic outcomes or hearing good, um, you can say, you know what, I really have to go to the bathroom. Let me call you back. And, and here's something that's really important for people to know. When people continually repeat negative things, it, the same thing, even different things in the same line, it becomes a program or a cycle in their brain. If you can break it, if in the middle of their sentence, you can break it. You can stop that sentence, stop that paragraph, that conversation. You can break it and ask them a question that will start to break down the program. Now, here's the other thing about this. Energy is so powerful. Even when we read a book, or watch something on TV that is so gripping, it makes us cry or it angers us. I mean, right there. So if we're talking to somebody that we care about and they're so, it, yeah, it's we're going to take some of that on whether we want to or not. So it's a matter of, you know, one of the things you can say, and I really love saying this is, What's good in your life right now? What's the best thing that happened to you today? Let's go back to a happy memory. What was the happiest day of your life? What was the best day of your life? Go back in time because especially the people of a certain age and generation, they've just been through it. They've really been through it. So take them back to happier days. Okay, uh, Joy, I hope that's helpful for you. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 352. 352, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Tony, this is Joanna from Florida. Hey, Joanna, how can I help you today? Hi, I have been 
having a lot of dreams about my mother. My mother passed in 2012. I took care of her physically and financially until she passed. But all of the dreams that I'm having of her, she's like doing things she's not supposed to be doing and being defiant and like getting into all kinds of trouble and refusing. And I'm like, I don't understand what these mean. As well, in the same dream, I keep dreaming about going to grocery stores. <laughs> That's all I keep doing. It's like my mother in grocery stores, my mother in grocery stores. And I'm like, what does all this mean? <laughs> okay. Um, what's your mom's name, love? Her first name is Diana. Diana. Okay, thank you. Um, the first thing I'm getting, and she she's actually visiting you, or you guys are meeting up in your dreams you're meeting up you're you're spending time and together as energetic beings that's the first thing i'm getting is it's a visitation but but you are meeting her and the second thing i'm hearing is don't don't always play it so safe um don't always okay. play it so i don't want to say don't play it by the rules but it's okay to you know, be mischievous and have a little fun once in a while. Now we can be mischievous without getting, <laughs> catching a case, <laughs> but you know, don't do anything <laughs> that's going to get you in real, real right. trouble. But, um, <laughs> but, ha you know, have fun. Um, don't always play it by the rules. Don't, don't always, you know, switch up, switch it up a bit and and live uh not only vicariously but a little mischievously okay that's that's yeah. i don't that's the word that's being brought through and um she's showing you that it's okay to to be maybe a little a little I don't want a, the word that's that I'm going to just use the words I'm hearing rebellious or a little sassy at times. Okay, sweet girl. Got you. Yes. Thank you. Bless you so much. Oh my gosh. My pleasure. Thank you so much. And you have an amazing day and she loves you and, and tell her I love her. <laughs> that's the song coming through for you, sweetie. Um, I'm going to go to the next uh, question from Stephanie. Stephanie wants to know, hey, Tony, can you tell me if I will get married again? Yes. Yes, Stephanie. The first thing I hear is uh, undoubtedly yes. No two ways about it. Yes, you will. And I feel like if you're not with someone right now or you I, I well, I'm just going to give you a timeline. It doesn't mean this is um it doesn't doesn't mean it's the actual marriage but i hear a year and a half this could mean in a year and a half you're going to meet the person this could mean in if you're in you know it, it whatever a year and a half a year and a half timeline to like the next step it might not be the marriage step but you're going to you're going to know. Okay. Thank you. Whew, thank you. You're going to know in a year and a half, you're going to know. And remember when that time comes, it's up to you if marriage is a piece of paper or an agreement between two people, but, but whatever you choose. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 505. 505. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Patricia. I'm calling from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hey, Patricia. Thank okay. you for taking the call. Absolutely. Hi. How can I help I, you today? Um, I'd like to know, uh, in between housing, maybe I'm in a homeless shelter um, and been doing my best to work on getting forward into my own space but i need to find out for me um and i'm learning gonna have to learn new skills which would be the most accessible and easier but that can start producing results for me meaning obtaining customers start earning income as a 
digital product creator, course creator, and or a keynote concert performer with music, say vocalizing, uh, playing simple guitar chords, and speaking, but I would identify myself as a speaker. Okay, Patricia, the first thing that I'm getting for you, and um, that that can come down the line, right? That can come a bit down the line. What I'm getting for you is right now you need something a little bit more tangible, something that's a little bit more solid and can start bringing you things right away. So if, it, um, because, you know, those things tend to need a buildup of things. No. So what, what I'm going to say for you, love, is, um, and I'm just going to do this because I need to, to get this whole message out in one. Um, the first and foremost, you need to find something, however many hours you can handle per week, you need to find something that can do that for you. And there are many organizations that while you're working with a company, let's say, that is, you know, giving you money every week or every other week, um, something tangible, you can work on all the digital side of everything, right? You can, you can work on that. The one thing that you need to do is have something solid and secure coming in. There are a number of places, the Small Business Administration, um, they will help train or retrain you. And there's a group, um, oh gosh, what is the name of it? Um, there is a group of people that um, train or help uh, give training to re-enter the workforce. Um, I know the small, I think the SBA does that, but there's another group also that does that. And they will do training in many different areas and you can use that for the digital. You can um, get certificates on Google for cybersecurity. Um, right now, AI is very new, some getting into the AI realm of things. But first and foremost, before all of that comes in, before you go there, get into a situation, even if it's a situation like house sitting, dog sitting, dog walking, um, any situation where you can work the number of hours perhaps that you are, are able to work or comfortable working, and get money coming in and and then and have a solid secure thing and then start building on the digital things um i as much as i believe everybody should have their own thing for you particularly i am hearing you need a sus sustainability now you can uh if you can find something where you're getting tips every day, that would be even better, Patricia. That is what I have for you. Thank you so much, my love, for calling in. Please, um, and I did do a couple clearings for you while you were talking. So I, I hope that that helps and that takes you to where you need to be for for moving forward for you, love. Okay, I am going to go to the next uh, question. Ooh, let me rise. Let's see what let me rise has to say. Let me rise says, hi, Tony. A few weeks back, you had told me I would be celebrating in March. Any ideas on what the celebration would be about? Well, we're coming near the end of March, so hopefully this is coming in soon. I feel like, okay, and I want to say this too, celebrating doesn't always mean like a big, huge, it's like celebration, like a party. It can be, but sometimes we can hear about somebody is pregnant or somebody else had a job promotion and we're very happy for them. That can also be a celebration. Something you 
are happy for for yourself or someone else. Okay, now that we have that straight, I'm hearing March 28th and then into the 29th, there is something that's going to make you happy. Okay. And it might, okay, so this is going to sound very weird, very weird. Let me rise. It might be something that happens while you're sleeping. Now, this could be, it could be a dream that makes you very, very happy. It shows you something or somebody you miss dearly comes in or you wake up and there's a text or an email or something that says, hey, da, 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 da. So if it's at the 28th to the 29th, I feel like it's going to start slowly. Whatever this is starts, I see the 27th and then it's very faded, like soft. And then the 28th is bolder and then the 29th is really bold and then it goes forward so it might be something that starts on the 27th but you're not really aware of it and then the 28th to the 29th it's either going to be brought in some way to your awareness and then get stronger as it goes on from there i hope that helps let me rise i really do hope that that helps you to understand that okay all right, I did not get to do, um, uh, Sal has a question. Oh my gosh, now, now that I'm in the questions, I'm just getting the questions. Okay, Sal has a question. I'm feeling a lot of, I'm feeling a lot with naming other. Joy, overwhelming with joy. Uh, Sal, I, I want to make sure I understand that. Uh, so it says, I'm feeling a lot of, of I'm feeling a lot with naming after the ant, overwhelming with joy. Yeah, that's what I get to sell for the first caller if that's what you were referring to. Um okay, 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 okay. Okay. So I at the beginning of the show, I did not do names and I did not do the songs. So I'm going to try to fit a couple names and songs in right here right now. And here we go. The first name I'm hearing is uh Jacinta or Jacenta and Jazz jasmine or jazzy okay the next name now these could be names of loved ones on the other side or your name and they're letting you know they're with you um i also did a three uh tic tacs this morning that uh, um one of them the woman's name was angelique okay so angelique either her name or the name Angelique came through. Okay, the next name is Robin. The next name is Brian. The next name, well, Cardinal, which we all know is a symbol or a sign. Cardinal, but it could have been like a mascot or that could be what somebody called somebody. Um, the next name is Snoopy. Um, the next name is... Annalise, Robert, L E, and this name, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, L E T H E, Lethe or Leth, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go into songs. Now, the songs you know can, can be a song they love, you love, or the answer to a question of something going on in your life right now. And the first song is, um, Make time for a something, something. I'm, I'm trying to go through all the lyrics to get to the main verse. But if you know, you know. Okay, if you know that song, you're going to know just by those words. The next song is, um, the, the verse that I'm getting is Rain Down On Me. The next song is um, 
if you love me, let me know. If you don't, then let me go. <laughs> The, ne <laughs> the next song is um, Cecilia, I'm down on my knees. I'm begging you please to come home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then that song, not three times on the ceiling if you want me i don't even really know these songs but it sounds like somebody's having a really tough time in love it sounds like somebody is just distraught over love oh my gosh is that a song patrick tell me uh knock three times on the ceiling if you want me is is that is that <laughs> oh i missed all these people oh my goodness i'm so so oh there's uh patrick um tony orlando and dawn not three times on the ceiling if you want me thank you okay um uh, here's one. I have another question. I'm going to just stop there with those. Okay. Uh, Colette wants to know, good day. Good day, Colette. Um, Tony, when my father passed, I went to buy a RV and travel. Will that happen for me? Um, will she buy an RV? Yes. Is it going to be when her father passes? will it be after yes okay so i do feel like uh yes you will eventually end up with an rv i feel like it's you're going to have to hone in your expectations and be i'm hearing be practical um and this is from a woman a woman a relative female relative on the other side your female relative not mine you're going to have to hone in and be practical because you're going to want to, um, because of expenses. That's what I'm hearing, just because of expenses and um, be practical. I do feel like the RV will come in. I feel like you're going to get almost everything you want in the way you want it, but you're going to just, you're, you know, like on the scale, the sliding scale, just hone it in a little bit. Make sure it's, oh, that's it. Um, make sure it's manageable for you. So like if you're thinking, I don't know how big, like I've seen really big RVs. I don't know if they mean make it, you know, but I don't know if they mean make it manageable by the size or the amenities or both. But you're going to know when you get there. Okay, love. I hope that's so, so helpful for you. So, so helpful. Okay. 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 Um, I'm looking at my time. I have a like a second left so we're gonna take that 90 question. seconds there it is um uh okay i am going to say thank you so much for joining me here today i'm so grateful to each and every one of you for spending this time with me and taking this journey if i did not get to answer your questions or take your call please i'll be here wednesday at 7 p.m i'm here every monday at 11 a.m every wednesday at 7 p.m central time you can call in you can join the chat seconds. on youtube and i get to as many questions as i can the show is 60 minutes because because this does air on tv uh, WSCS and all of their channels and Rude Rangers and all of their channels plus podcast and that time frame is pretty tight. Okay, thank you again. I love each and every one of you so stinking much. I cannot wait until the next show.